Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we are going through some more League One action. Now with most teams we've got three to four games left to go. So much more games to go, so much more action and so much more drama. We're going to go through the next few games and my final kind of predictions going through the table. Look at who's going down, look at who's going up, look at who's getting the playoff and maybe a broader idea. From then, if you're new to the channel, please smash subscribe down below. We're trying to get 6,300 by the end of the season. I need your help. Click that like button and subscribe. And let's get on with the video. Now, starting off with the gas. Now, Bristol Rovers are bottom of the league. And they are bottom of the league since Joey Barton came in 15 games ago. Only 11 points from those 15 games. Three wins, two draws. And 10 defeats. Not great signs for Joey Barton's Blues. Although, I think it's a collection of things there. The recruitment in the summer was diabolical. The two managers that they had before Joey were kind of really, really bad. The training methods were bad. And they've had some bad referees as well. Um, but Joey, I think he's got to take some of the responsibility. They were above the relegation uh, before he came in. And now that, you know, bot the bottom of the league... Uh, the five points adrift since Joey came in, so Swindon got 16 points. They are fifth from bottom. They look to be going down now. They're nine points from safety, nine to go. Um, they'll need a goal swing of seven as well. And hope Wigan and Wimbledon do not collect any points up to now in the end of the season. Swindon, again, just above. John Sheridan did leave after only eight wins in 33. Drawing four, losing 21. They lost the last four and... Sheridan goes, no, no relegation on my CV. Tommy Wright, he's old assistant. One game, one win. Still hope, but five of the bottom six all won the other day. So for me, Bristol Rovers and Swindon will both be playing League Two next season. Now, a team that's still in it, Rochdale. Now, they've got four games and they are five adrift at the moment. So they've won the last three games, you know, against decent opposition. They got a great win against Lincoln recently. They, again, got a good point against Peterborough at home. Beat Blackpool at home as well. Beat, you know, relegation for the Swindon. And then beat mid-table Accrington Stanley. So they're still in with a fight. And I like that about them. Rochdale, for me, are just going to go down because Wigan... Are on fight at the moment, they're on 47 points. You know, they've got three games. I think they will get to the safety net of 50 points this year, but that's one that could go down to the last day. And Northampton, 43 points from 42. Would I rather have an extra game or an extra point? At the moment, I'd have an extra game all day long because, you know, it's worth it for the sake of a point. You get three points and you can afford probably just to maybe lose one of the games. I reckon that bottom four now is the bottom four that will go down, unfortunately. So that is Rovers, Swindon, Rochdale, Northampton and Wigan. What a job Liam Richardson's done. 1.29 points per game. Wimbledon again. What a great run Mark Robinson's gone on. They're over their 48 points. They have won their last four games after losing in the last minute to Fleetwood. Probably undeserved. So 12 points out of 12. What a great run. And that will probably be the relegation fodder. It's going to go down to the last day, but I reckon Wimbledon and Wigan are both safe from relegation. Let me know who you think will go down and let me, th let me know your thoughts on how your team has done this season. Now, kind of building up from the top, the teams like MK Dons, Shrewsbury's, Fleetwood Towns, uh, Crews, Plymouth Argyles, they've got nothing really to play for. But looking at the top end of the, you know, the league, anyone from around Ipswich, in my opinion, Accrington Stanley, could still get into the playoffs. I reckon it's going to be a long shot for Ipswich and Accrington, who have had, you know, not the greatest of 2021, so in the bottom half of the form table, in that as well. Ipswich are, are dreadful. They're going to have to have a rebranding next season. Go again. MK Dons, you know, they're still not giving up. The 10th in the league. What a season they have had this year. Gillingham are ninth, but although, you know, they're only averaging, I think, 1.44 points per game. And you need to average about 1.6 to get into the playoffs. Still within a shout. And then you look from about Portsmouth. They're the team that could unsettle it. They've got four games to go. They're currently on 65 points. I reckon they need about eight to nine points from their last 12. They won the first four under the Cowleys. But again, I haven't won in the last four, which is a bit of a worry. But, you know, they'll 
take any tender on that as well. If you don't go up this year under the calories, I believe they'll go up next year because the calories have a tendency of to get better as it goes along and they just the, you know the stamina of it and they can keep chasing and keep going and you know Paul's have something to believe in now. And I reckon if you offered them this, a jacket promotion in these uh, three more years, or go up next year under the Cowleys, wait next year and have a different manager, they take Cowley all day long over the promotion under Jack and have him for longer because that football was diabolical at times. Oxford are just above, but they have played a game more and they've got um, the same points. They probably need to win all their last three games. Normally, it's about 72 to 75 points to get into six. It can be lower. You've seen teams getting it on 70, 71 in recent years. But this year, I reckon it'll be 70 to 74 area. And then the playoff. Charlton, they are flying under Nigel Atkins. I reckon they will get into the playoff. I really do. 60 against Plymouth. They beat Doncaster recently. They beat Sunderland. New manager bounce, but Atkins, what a guy. I love his Twitter videos. I'd love to play for him if I was a footballer. He'd make me believe, and he's positive, so positive. Blackpool as well, they are flying. They've just come off a 16-game unbeaten run. And the, actually, the funny side about that, it started with a 1-0 win over Rochdale, and it ends with a 1-0 defeat over Rochdale. So, uh, all good runs have to come to an end. They've got four games to go. Sunderland included in that run as well. They've got Bristol Rovers as well so it's going to be interesting to see how they do i reckon blackpool and charlton will get into the playoffs lincoln they've won the last three games from beating and forcing having the outbreak of um, the recent pandemic hopefully they are all recuperated now but they want to go on a good run and george grant set to come back as well and then Sunderland, you know they are struggling now they are in my opinion, it's going to be hard for them to catch up with the top two. And I believe Hull will win the league and Peter will finish second and Sunderland. So my final, I think the playoffs now will stay as it will. I reckon Charlton to finish sixth, Blackpool to finish fifth, Lincoln to finish fourth, Sunderland to finish third. So it will be a very good one. It'll be Sunderland against Charlton and Blackpool against Lincoln in the playoffs. Let me know who you're going to see win that. I won't put it past Blackpool winning it though. With the form they've been on and how good they've been recently, I'd say they are the favourites. But in playoffs, anything can happen. So they, that kind of is my rundown of the table. Let me know your thoughts. Who do you think will go up? So we've got the Northampton, Rochdale, Swindon and Rovers to go down. Peterborough and Hull to go up and Blackpool to win the playoffs. It pains me to say, but Sunderland in playoffs are poor. Charlton on a good run, but how long will that last? Lincoln again, they're hit and miss. Blackpool have been consistent and are very good. I think they're the most successful team in the playoffs as well. So it's going to be an interesting one. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know why in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. Getting close to 6,300 now. And I will see you in the next video. Up the cods.